Good morning, everybody. SoCal Saber here, Bill Thornton, and it is October 29th. And once again, it's time for my monthly channel wrap up. And I hope that you uh, like what you hear and like what you've seen in the last month. And I want to thank all of you supporters. You know, the these channels are really funny. You know, not not that it matters a lot to me, but you know, I'm curious as why you know, the, like the, during the last month, our our count went from 360 to 364, and then it went back down to 360, and then it went up to 367, and down to 366. You know, that's kind of odd to me. I don't remember ever, you know, doing something like that. But anyway, you know, channel's big. Light would like to get it bigger so we get more attention to everything. But anyway, what are we going to talk about today? <clears throat> We're going to talk about the videos I did in October, the games I played in October, what my November plans are. And so uh, if you like it, go down there and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and push it out into your social media channels. <clears throat> October videos, yeah, it was down from September. It was down to 18 in November, probably good a little bit lower, and I'll talk about that later. Uh, I did eight sport games <clears throat> from APA Baseball, my Bats 3 project, and I did the... Uh, Fast Drive Football by Al Wilson. Super Bowl is coming, maybe this weekend. And then I did uh, Shootout Hockey with my two projects, the 1979 Sabres and the 2018 Sabres. I've done 29 games so far. This, this time on the table, I have one more in the 2018 season. And uh, <clears throat> that one will probably be recorded either. also. Then I'm going to be switching uh, sports games on the table. I did five on board games, and I did some unboxings, I did a demo, and I did my first playthrough, uh, which was to Under Falling Skies, yeah, and I made some mistakes, but I let it go out the way it is, and, you know, I'm not as professional as some of those other channels, but I do promise you that every time I do a video of a game or an unboxing and that, I try to make the next one a little bit better. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how they, they must have some really cool recording equipments, overhangs, and things like that. Anyway, and then uh, did some miscellaneous. I did kept my Tower 3D Pro going. I guess if you checked it out, you saw me get my butt beat twice in, at LAX, Los Angeles International. But then I moved on to, uh, I think it was Phoenix I just played, yes. And then I did my Extra Life update. Games I played in November and October, uh, some of them already talked about, Stratomatic Hockey. Superstar Baseball finally got off the ground. I told you last month that the draft was supposed to be October 2nd, but it got delayed due to illness of one of the owners, and we finally got it off the ground to draft on the 16th. A lot of work. I'm the commissioner of that league, and there's 16 teams, and they're drafted 25 players each, and then, then they do five players. They do sign five free agents to their uh, reserve squads, and i got to put all of this stuff in the high score and everything, so it took me quite a bit. Slowed me down for about four or five days there. But we got up and going. We played our first set of games, five games yesterday. Normally we play six games in a setting, but one of them got rained out. There's actually a rain out, so it'll be scheduled as part of a doubleheader next time. And uh, I did uh, do a few turns of Our God Was My Shield, the Civil War board game of Jackson's uh, campaign in Valley Campaign. Uh, I wanted to do more, but I couldn't, uh, you know, I couldn't see how to, to do it. It was just, the game is too, just too, is different. And then uh, I did a demo of Abyss. And uh, like I said, the first playthrough of Under Falling Skies. <clears throat> well, my, what are my November plans? Well, in November, the first, on the top of the list is the Extra Life Gaming Marathon on November 6th. If you haven't checked out my videos on that, please do so. You know, it's a great cause, helping children, raising money to help children, the Children's Hosp Miracle Hospital Network, and gamers get together from all over the world. My team is really short on members this year. I don't know why, why, why that is. I've always had anywhere from, I don't know, 30 to 40 to 50 of them from all over the place, but we're only, we're only down to like about eight so far. So, uh, you know, if you're going to be gaming on the 6th, doing any type of gaming, think about joining. There's no commitment to join. They'll ask you, to, you know, how much you want to go fund it. What's your goal for fundraising? You tell them, but if you don't make it, there's not, you're not held accountable for anything. So join us. Have some fun. You know, if you do, let me know. 
and so I can get you onto our other our team Facebook group that we have that we're passing. And there's gonna be a lot of games played. I don't think I'll be doing any video of them. I might I'll do some pictures <clears throat> and maybe show you some pictures and that. Beside that, I haven't put a lot of thought into the November videos. Uh, as far as sports go, as soon as Strata Match Hockey gets off the board here this weekend, then another game will come up. And like I, I stated in the past, now this this fall and winter is going to be dedicated to basketball, hockey, and football, the game, sports that are going on. My next game will probably be one of my basketball games. Uh, I'm thinking Stratomatic at this point, but I'm not sure because uh, i got a couple other ones too. And then I'll go back to hockey and then a football, and then I'll go to a football, then I'll back to hockey. Uh, different than <coughs> shootout hockey will be another one. If there's anything that, you know, you guys would like me to do or con consider, please let me know in the remarks. You know, I, I had two requests this month. I had a demo uh, requested for Abyss, which I did, and I had a playthrough requested of Under Falling Skies. If I can do it, I'll be more than happy to do it for you guys. So let me know. Oh, now on to me for some personal information. <clears throat> You know, when I was talking uh, back in the, my plans for November, another thing is, is the, you know, I primarily, when it comes to games, love war games. And I've been kind of uh, putting them on the back burner. I'm going to have to get them a little bit more emphasis after the after the marathon and start getting one. Because i got a big enough table where I can have a couple games going at once. So i got to get some of my games <coughs> going. Now, as far as me, my uh, favorite pro sports, well, you all know that the Tigers are out. The World Series is going on. <clears throat> the series is tied 1-1 one one right now. Big rumor on the Tigers right now is they're going to be in the market, the free agent market for one of the top quality shortstops. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. That would be really neat to have one. We haven't had one <clears throat> in quite a while. You know, last really, really good one that I think was really good was Julio Iglesias. But I, I probably pronounced his name wrong anyway. But anyway, he, he, he left us. You know, the uh, the Bills, they're 4-2. and two. They're looking good. They lost last last game to Tennessee. But Tennessee is so tough, especially with Derrick Henry. Oh, my gosh. That guy is a monster. You know, but they're looking good. But so are a few other teams in the NFC and the AFC. So... Time will tell. Bill's got a big game Sunday against Miami at home. So I'm um, keeping my fingers crossed for that one. The Celtics, they're off to a poor start. They're 2-3 and three for them to get going. I don't know what to think of them this year. You know, I first of all, I didn't understand some of the offseason moves and so forth. And, and, you know, I just, on time will tell. Maybe they'll gel. Maybe they'll all get together, the new guys and the old guys and, Al Horford's back, and they brought Schroeder in, and uh, you know we'll say maybe the guy that that takes a little bit of more time to gel. And then the Buffalo Sabers. I don't know if I should even talk about them. Why? Because my expectations are low. All I they're in a, you know big big rebuild. There's not a lot of talent on the team, and all my expectation was is play hard. Okay, B, don't give up any games. Play hard. And that's what they've done so far. They're 5-1-1. One, and one. My goodness, they have surprised teams in the NHL. Will this last? Yeah, I would hope so, but I'm being realistic. I don't think so. They just don't have the quality to, to keep up with a lot of those teams that are, that are right in the same category as them. Sure, they beat Tampa and they beat Montreal, the two teams that were in the Stanley Cup Finals last year, but... You know, that's just a little token. It's an 82-game season this year. And I'm, they've been surprising people. I'm sure the other teams are going to be catching on now instead of being surprised, knowing what they're in for, and be prepared for the uh, the constant pressure that the Sabres have been putting on teams. And uh, it's a lot of fun watching them. I uh, give high marks to Don Granado, the new coach, who has got these two guys believing in themselves and playing hard. That's the most important thing during this rebuild. Uh, I'm not going to discuss the Jack Eichel thing. That's just a bad thing for the NHL in, in total. As far as me, health-wise, I'm doing pretty good. You know, no more dizzy spells yet. 
Uh, hopefully, I say yet, because I don't know there's always a, a chance ever since I got the pacemaker. I did have my uh, hearing with the DMV, and my driver's license was reinstated. But to be honest with you, at this point, I'm not ready to drive. That accident, when I passed out driving, scared me so much that I could have killed somebody that I am not ready. I need some t more time with the pacemaker in me to feel comfortable that there is not going to be no more dizzy spells. The doctor says no, but I need some time. Right now it's, uh, let's see, that was that was in August and September, October, or two and a half months since I got the, the uh, pacemaker, and I'm thinking four to six months should do it for me, but we'll see. <clears throat> but, you know, other, other than that, everything else is doing fine. Uh, I take Uber around town if I need to go, and I got some friends and my daughter that help me out, and so uh, life is good. Yep, and uh, so with that, I'm going to close. I really, again, I want to thank all of you for stopping by and watching this. I want to thank all of you for your support during the all, entire time I've been doing this channel. And again, if you like what you see or hear, go down there and hit that like button. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and push it out into your social media channels. Leave remarks. Let me know what you want to see, what you'd like to see. And if I can do it, I will. So until you see or hear from me again, this is SoCal Saber. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other and stay safe.